चंद्रमा निखिल ग्रह वीरी बीजम मून इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ऑल प्लैनेट्स और रेदर यू से ऑल प्लैनेट्स गेट्स स्ट्रेंथ फ्रॉम मून ओनली so if moon is powerful in your horoscope technically all the planets are powerful and if the moon is weak in your horoscope then all planets are weak of course if you are watching my videos you will know that if planets are weak they are not able to give a result it's not like you say that a bad planet if it is weak it is not giving result so it is good for us only that is not the case because every planets have some signification and if the planets become weak the result related to signification of planet also becomes weak which means that some area of personality which a normal person should have in good quantity will be lacking in your life so technically you want every planet to be powerful and you want every planet to be beneficial if the planet is malefic you will have to do remedy for them but with respect to moon because moon gives strength to all the planets it is very necessary and essential to have a good moon and moon a very light female planet is the most important planet because it controls our mind also it shows our mind as well and as some great hindi author have said man ke haare haar hai man ki jeete jeet red you win by your mind you lose by your mind if your mind is not in proper shape not in proper state then in that particular scenario all achievements will be useless and further uh, success and progress will be hindered so moon remedies are very important and today i am in this karma correction series i am going to talk about moon in 12 different houses of horoscopes and how by doing small things you can get good result from this moon as i have told i will tell it again that the remedy of moon is very essential to be done it will keep you in good mental shape as you remain in good mental shape your success will be guaranteed that is first and the foremost important thing other than that as moon becomes powerful in your horoscope all other planets will automatically become powerful and as you have powerful planets in your horoscope success will be guaranteed right so what needs to be done if there is moon in ascendant of your horoscope try to stay near a water body if not possible then have an image picture or scenery of a water body big photo of some water body in your living room try to control your mind by things related to meditation and other practices give food to fishes work and donate towards the cleanliness of rivers and do do tratak concentration over a uh, image or concentration over a point which is 2 3 feet away from your place of standing or sitting on the level of your eyes between the between the eyes on this particular level concentrating on this particular image idol figure for 1 minute to 15 minutes is called tratak i have explained tratak in my sun in different houses videos So watch the attack there from there and do this attack for moon in the ascendant. This will also improve uh, your control over mind, meditate, and focus, which will help you if you are having moon in the ascendant. If you are having moon in the second house, then you should drink a lot of water. In your food, fluid-based things or what you call rasa-related things. will be there at least one vegetable or one juice you should take with your food every time don't waste natural resources eating and consumption of seafood should be avoided installation of public water body public drinking water etc outside your home or near a temple etc if possible should be done and at least two three plants you should have in your home or maintain a garden around your home that will also be very beneficial for moon in the second house if there is moon in the third house then you should give gifts give gifts to your female siblings 
रिस्पेक्ट फीमेल्स डोंट टॉक बैड अबाउट देम हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे दिस महामंत्रा शुड बी चैंटेड फॉर एटलीस्ट हाफ एन आवर पर डे विदाउट काउंटिंग रीड अबाउट चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड अदर वैष्णव सेंट्स एंड देयर टीचिंग्स एंड ट्राई टू इंप्लीमेंट एंड फॉलो इट इफ पॉसिबल ट्राई टू सो फ्लावर्स इन योर होम हैव फ्लावर्स इन योर होम रियल फ्लावर्स इन योर होम and be consistent with your efforts with moon in the third house if there is moon in the fourth house in your horoscope then first of all keep water body aquarium fountain etc in your home big or small does not matter uses of light colors white color blue color sky blue color in your home in bed sheets curtains sofas etc is very good if you find anyone going through mentally difficult times around yourself extend your mental emotional supports to them that will be good you should live a life of dedication devotion service and nursing people around yourself whoever is in need the sitting area in your home should be opulent and if you cannot afford an opulent sitting space in your home then at least make sure that the sitting area in your home is always neat and clean not only that in your home around your home in your office around your work table try to maintain cleanliness and do cleaning once a day as a practice for sure if there is moon in fifth house then any mantra that you like or any mantra that you may have got from your guru or any mantra related to your ishta devata you should chant at least 15 minutes every day gifting or donation to female children around yourself will be very beneficial wishes and desires should be controlled and kept practical and rational as much as possible at least try to follow a creative hobby or engage in a creative activity going into love affairs or you know have going into love affairs should be avoided right like having one love affair is okay but having multiple affairs at same point of time is not good also in love related matters always remain practical and rational right don't be over emotional in matters related to love otherwise it can be problematic and donation of food whenever possible should be done if there is moon in the sixth house of your horoscope then don't pay much attention to enmity don't harbinger the thoughts of jealousy and competition in your mind don't waste natural resources whenever possible give gifts and donations to females around you it can be female sister it can be female employee or anyone fighting with woman hurting woman talking bad about woman should be avoided and donate to cause donate food to cow or donate organ donate money to organizations engaged in protection and shelter of cause that will also be very beneficial for you moon in the 7th house avoid sexual temptations never go into relationship for benefits promotions etc remain ethical and moral in your practices specifically sexual and love related practices meditation and tratak as told in the moon in the first house part should be practiced saying bad about others backbiting bitching about others should be avoided and try to give complete mental support attention and focus to your spouse with moon in the 7th house this will serve as a very good remedy moon in the 8th house you should not have any fear and phobia at least try to avoid it as much as possible if you are already having some fear and phobia that is okay but overthinking bad or uh, bad about something or what bad something can do at thinking too much about it will give birth to new phobias that should be avoided under all conditions never say bad word about any woman a healthy lifestyle of exercise sleeping in time waking up in time and healthy eating habits should be maintained donation of food clothes and liquid items should be done take sugarcane juice and bath shivling with that sugarcane juice चैंट महामृत्युंजय मंत्र ओम त्रम जामे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन मुर्वा बंधना मृत्युर्मृता ओम दिस पर्टिकुलर महामृत्युंजय मंत्र शुड बी चैंटेड एंड इंगेजिंग इन वर्बल फाइट्स शुड बी अवॉइडेड इफ यू आर हैविंग मून इन द एट हाउस 
if you are having more in the ninth house then follow female guru uh ma amritananda mai and sharada devi or the mother of orbindo ashram you should follow their teachings you should follow their advices as much as possible respect your teachers donate your donate to your teachers give gifts to your teachers whenever possible don't invest money or spend money out of impulse always take a rational logical decision that will be good uses of perfumes bathing daily maintaining cleanliness around yourself wearing washed clothes etc is also a very good remedy you should have strong ethics morals character specifically with respect to relationships and whenever possible worship krishna visit the temples legends and places as reads legends related to krishna visit temple visit temple and places related to krishna that will also be very very beneficial for you if you are having more in the 10th house then don't have affair with your bosses don't engage in politics at workplace single mothers around you if any you should try to help them in whatever way possible for the cause of women you should make some donations some organizations dealing with welfare of women make donations to them wear gemstone wearing gemstone is a very good remedy for moon so any gemstone which is suitable as per your horoscope you should wear for sure and waking up till late in night sleeping early in morning is not beneficial so that should be avoided if you are having moon in 11th house then donate and give gifts to females it can be your uh, female sister or uh, you know the sister of your mother father female employees female servants anyone you should recognize and appreciate people for their hard works and efforts donation to nursing home and nurses should be done you should take care of female elders not only in your family but in your society you should try to maintain cordial relationship with your female siblings and female siblings of your spouse and parents some temples and organizations organize marriages for poor females try to donate in such marriages any financial donation which is comfortable for you should be done with moon in the 12th house you should donate food you should try to extend emotional support to people let never marry for money or status don't compromise in your hard work efforts ethics and morals for little or temporary gains don't fake about your lifestyle belongings lineage caste creed etc and whenever possible go on a pilgrimage to temple related to shri vishnu which is visit to places related to shri vishnu listen to legends related to shri vishnu sings glories of lord shri vishnu that will be very beneficial for you if you are having moon in 12th house these remedies though it looks small but are very effective as per my experience now check where is your moon and according to the house do the remedy and in one one and a half year you will see that revolution have happened in you